Restoring the United States' dominance in long-range precision fires tops the list of six modernization priorities released by Army Chief of Staff General Mark A. Miley and then Acting Secretary Ryan D. McCarthy in 2018. If you could go back in time and tell readers of this magazine's predecessor in the early 1990s that this would be the case that, 20 years later, the Army had lost its edge in long-range missiles, and to Russia no less, they probably would have been surprised. The MGM-140 Army Tactical Missile System, or Atticums, was the Army's first long-range tactical missile. It debuted in 1986 to attack high-value targets like airfields, artillery, and missile forces, supply areas, and command groups. Atticums helped the United States and its allies to quick victory in operations Desert Shield and Desert Storm. Then Army Acquisition Executive Stephen K. Conver described Atticum's performance in Operation Desert Storm in the May-June 1991 issue of Army RDNA Bulletin. The system was used against surface-to-air missile sites, logistics sites, SCUD missile positions, howitzer and rocket batteries, and tactical bridges, and was viewed as a precious asset. Indications are that Atticum's destroyed or rendered inoperable all of its targets. The first iteration of Atticums could hit stationary surface targets up to 100 miles away. The second generation, Block 1A, added GPS guidance for more precision and had a range of 165 to 185 miles. Ground commanders of land-based units didn't have access to that range before Atticums. The Lance missile that Atticums replaced had a maximum range of 46 miles when fitted with a conventional warhead, but it had been intended primarily to deliver nuclear warheads. The program was canceled in the 1980s. Later, defense analysts would recognize the technological developments that Atticums capitalized on as the second offset when precision guidance and stealth technology set the U.S. military far out of any competitor's reach. Then, after a decade of unquestioned military superiority, the United States and its allies got involved in two wars and eventually two counterinsurgencies in which artillery was less important and consequently received less attention and money. During that time, Russia and China, in the course of becoming the near-peer adversaries the Army has since refocused on, developed long-range weapons that, coupled with their electronic warfare and intelligence capabilities, shifted the battlefield advantage in their favor. Atticums is a tactical ballistic missile manufactured by the U.S. defense company Lockheed Martin. Lockheed acquired the smaller producer that fielded the original missile in the 1990s. It has a range of up to 185 miles, or 300 kilometers, with solid propellant and is 13 feet, or 4.0 meters high, and 24 inches, or 610 millimeters in diameter. Compatibility with current launch platforms, the Atticums can be fired from the Track M270 Multiple Launch Rocket System, or MLRS, and the wheeled M142 High Mobility Artillery Rocket System, HIMARS. An Atticums launch container has a lid patterned with six circles, like a standard MLRS rocket lid. Still, it contains only one missile. The identical pattern makes it more challenging for enemy intelligence to single it out as a high-value target. Targets include air defense artillery sites, surface-to-surface -surface missile units, logistics sites, command and control complexes, and helicopter forward operating bases. Atticums is now more than 30 years old, bulky, and not as modular as current requirements demand. And the technologies that were breakthroughs 30 years ago have proliferated widely. Thus, Miley and McCarthy call for a long-range precision fires capability that restores U.S. Army dominance in range, munitions, and target acquisition. The range of Atticum's replacement 
is capped by the United States' obligations under the 1987 Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces Treaty, in which the United States and Russia forswore ballistic missiles with ranges above 500 kilometers or 310 miles. However, the U.S. Department of State protested in 2014, 2015, and 2016 that Russia had tested new missiles that violated the 500-kilometer limit. The ability to add a more powerful flight motor suggests the U.S. could match Russia if needed. A slimmer profile. Each Atacom's missile can weigh between 3,000 and 3,600 pounds, depending on its loaded munitions. Each is 13 feet long and roughly 2 feet in diameter. It's large enough that only two missiles can fit on a multiple launched rocket system, and only one can work on the more mobile HIMARS. The Army wants to do more missiles on each platform and get more firepower in the air faster. The Atticum's modification program converts expired Block IIA anti-personnel, anti-material or APAM missiles to unitary missiles and resets the original 10-year service life. The Unitary Service Life Extension Program, or SLEP, configuration includes a cluster munitions policy compliant warhead, obsolescence refresh, regrained rocket motor, and a proximity sensor. Current prototype designs can fit twice the number of missiles on each launcher and hit targets up to 309 miles away versus the 185 mile maximum range and one missile per pod of Atticums. Lockheed adds new guidance technology to keep Atticums viable until a new long range precision weapon is ready and replaces cluster munition warheads with single warheads under a maintenance and sustainment contract. Meanwhile, U.S. broadcaster NBC News has reported that U.S. President Joe Biden recently informed Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky that Washington will provide Kiev with Atticum's long-range missiles. Ukraine has repeatedly asked the Biden administration for the long-range Atticums to help hit supply lines, air bases, and rail networks deep behind Russia's front lines in occupied regions of Ukraine. Defense officials have said the U.S. has a small stockpile of excess Atticums, which have a bigger payload than traditional artillery to provide to Ukraine. Also, some in Washington have resisted supplying the weapon, known colloquially as Atacums, out of fear that it would widen the war with Russia.